Hello, this is Richard Parsons, CMT, and it's December 4th. Let's discuss the unemployment rate in terms of business cycles, and I want to talk a nine-year cycle that relates to seven to 12 years of economic growth and one to three years of contraction and recession. So let's take a look, and we see that we had a bottom in 2000, rallied into a nine-year top. Now, this is unemployment, so a rally is not a good thing. It means unemployment was on the rise. Pulled back for a nine-year cycle low, slammed up for the 2008-2009 Great Recession, so extreme high unemployment, the highest since back in 1982. And then we can see unemployment has declined for the downside of this nine-year cycle. Now, in around 2011, perhaps in 2010, I called a nine-year cycle top, and I said, okay, unemployment's going down. Uh, the recession is over. In fact, we had had studies going back to 2009 that said it was over. And we even had studies in 2009 that a long-term bottom was in place for the uh, stock market. In fact, a super long-term bottom. At any rate, uh, for these early years, for this decade, there was concerns that unemployment was not declining fast enough. The economy was not recovering fast enough. And I said, just give it time. Unemployment was speed lower. As you can see, that's what it did. Didn't really match my first objective for the early part of the decade. And then you can see it's decline and heading towards the next objective for the next nine year cycle low. So unemployment is nearly as low. Now, even though I said be patient, unemployment will speed lower, everything's going to be fine. Don't listen to the naysayers that we're going down the wrong path and we can't have economic growth. I also stated that it's possible we could get the full employment, therefore historical low unemployment, and we would not be happy. And you can see in the elections and in the news, Americans aren't happy. <laughs> and yet, here we have, as of November 2016, achieved a 4.6% unemployment near the historical lows. Well, this black box was drawn years ago, back near this 2010-2011 time period, just as this box was drawn, and these were objectives for time and price for certain cycles. As of today, I've extended the downside, allowing for still lower unemployment over the next few years, but as of next year, we have to start looking for a sign that an unemployment will peak out, or I'm sorry, I'm sorry bottom out, and then we're going to have peak economy that eventually will evolve into a recession that occurs once a decade, sometimes twice, and we call it a primary recession. So eventually, yes, we will see a rise in employment, but it's possible that we will not see a recession again until 2019, but probably no later, but it could start as soon as late 2017. Now, let's move on to the next chart, which is going to be the... ISM, PMI, manufacturing, one of my favorite indicators to tell us what the economy is doing. And it looks as though in 2015, late 2015, a three-year business cycle, which is a component or increment of the nine-year business cycle, bottomed. And the PMI manufacturing is improving, is probably going to do so into 2017, but may well peak in 2017. Rising PMI suggests the economy is growing at a faster pace so long as it's above 50. And when it's below 50, the economy is slowing down, contracting. And when it gets down to 45 or lower, you have to consider the country's going into recession, especially if it's in alignment with the nine-year business cycle. The nine-year is also similar to the juggler cycle. And the three-year is similar to the kitchen cycle that you may see in various cyclical studies, textbooks so forth. This is a cumulative study I created years ago and it's simply a cumulative study of the ISM PMI. I've labeled prior recessions back in 82, early 90s, early 2000s, the 2008, 2009 Great Recession and you can see it's trending higher so the economy is growing. This runs a very strong correlation, positive correlation, to nominal GDP per capita we can see we had a little hiccup here recently. There might have been a little secondary recession going on there, or at least a slowdown in manufacturing, if not for the economy in general. Now, the Federal Reserve using their FRED system. This is the Industrial Production Index, bottom from the Great Recession. We can see industrial production rose to a new record high for this index. 
and then it slumped in 2015. It should recover. I'm a bit concerned that there's some measurements out there saying that even though the economy should grow, perhaps all the way to 2019, it could be a struggle for some measurements that they're really trying to roll over for the next recession. Perhaps this sluggishness is warning us of a coming problem here that the recession can begin late 2017 and into early 2018 instead of waiting for 2019. This chart is the producer price index. And of course, I'm more interested in commodities as far as how I work with the public quite often and, and, and my professional uh, career. But I'm also very interested in the stock market, the economy, the macro economy. And so I'm thinking commodities are going to have a rebound in the next couple of years. Some economic measurements could improve the best we've seen in decades. And yet there could very well be other measurements that are going to be sluggish. This producer price index, we can see again a slump in the prices, 14, 15, starting to turn up. I am concerned that it may only recover some before finally dropping for recession. Nevertheless, some kind of recovery could still relate to a nice bull market in manufacturing, in export prices, and even commodity prices. My forecast for the stock market using these business cycles, looking at technical factors and the fundamentals such as macroeconomics and, and the economy, is that the stock market should be bullish in the summer 2017. We'll have to look out for at least a three-year business cycle that could create a slump in the 2018 and then a final leg up for the bull market since 2009 into a top in 2019. And we'll have to then compare that scenario with the possibility the nine-year cycle since 2009 peaks in late 2017 with the coming three-year cycle. Thank you.